Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft One tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be working on loot tables, which allows different drops for your entities, blocks and other things. So let's get started. We're going to do the small bit of code this requires, then we're going to get on to actually creating the loot tables and the resources. So in your util, handlers, new class, um, loot table handler. doesn't even have any functions in it basically public static final resource location centaur because I'm going to do my entities loot today is equal to loot table list dot register a new resource location reference.mod id comma then centaur semicolon in the end so create the resource location of centaur and it's telling the loot table list where the actual loot table is located so it can register it. So all we have to do for there, in your entity centaur, uh, come down and put um, get to loot table and return loot table handler dot centaur and that's all the tiny bit of code done. Now we need to actually create the loot table so a new package called loot underscore tables and we could go through the painful process of trying to create loot tables manually or we could use a beautifully created program on the internet for free called loot tables generator it can be found at amaori.carade.eu slash minecraft slash loot tables or you can just look at the link in the description and this will um, cleanly make our loot tables and allows me to explain everything so when you get to the website a lot like this you want to click add pool this is just one set of things that can be randomly dropped based off of weight so if you just want one item to always drop just put this one item in one pool that's what I'm going to be doing here I'm going to be making it um, so that leather will always drop But I will also do it to make it a random amount but Then there's also other items that can be randomly got based off of weight which we'll be going through today So first what, what's a roll? Rolls is how many times the loot table will choose an item So for most things you want one roll But some things you might want so it rolls a few times so you might get different items or multiple items from the same pool so I'm going to leave it as one to one here. You can have one to two. So it could do roll once or it could roll twice. But leave it as one to one for me. And this bonus rolls, I'm really not quite sure. It's based off of um, luck. So it will, if it rolls again. Like say you've got looting on your sword or whatever. It might roll once more. But I'm not going to include that. But you can include that if you want. Now there's two things here, an entry, which is an item or a block or whatever you want to drop, or a condition. A condition will state the entry can only run if the entity was killed by a player, if the entity's properties match, or all this stuff. But I'm not really going to do that. I'm instead just going to add the entry, so it will always drop this. So there's either item, a loot table, you can make it drop an, another loot table. If I can drop the item, it could choose something from that other loot table. Or nothing. Empty. The weight. I'm going to leave it at 1. But basically, I'll show you demonstrate weight later. Basically, it's the more weight, the more likely it is that thing could be dropped. But if there's only one thing in the pool, that thing will always be dropped. Then the item is going to be Minecraft leather. And quality, once again, will affect the weight based on the player's look. 
I'm not going to mess around with that. Then once again, you can add a condition here after um, you've chosen the item. But I'm going to not, not use conditions. Add function. This function, there's lots of different functions. I'll go through most of them. Set count is what I'm going to be using here. Um, and it can drop between 1 and 10 leather. And also you can add a condition for that if you want. But I'm going to have it so it drops between 1 and 10 leather. As you can see here, it's creating quite a complex thing. That would have been uh, really annoying with the, all the curly brackets. So it's much easier for us to do this. I'm going to add another pool now. This will be something different. So this one will roll once um, as a new entry. It will be an item. You don't have to put a Minecraft item here. You can do your custom items. So TM ingot copper. Add the function set count can be between one and four so this is a different role it will either drop some copper ingots or add a new entry it will drop my sword so i'm going to add a function here there'll always be one of them i only want one of them but damage i'm going to have it 99 percent damage sorry it's zero i want 0 0.01 is what i'm looking for this could be, actually, I'll dem to demonstrate, it could be between 0 0.01 or 0 0.02, meaning 1 or 2% durability left. Then I'm going to add another function where I'm going to enchant randomly, and you can add a specific enchantment. So this sword um, could have either Bane of Arthropods or it could have Smite. And then I'm also going to add another function, the set attribute function. This modifier, I'm going to add some attack damage. So we're going to add, add or multiply 100 attack damage. I mean 100 and 150 attack damage added to that sword. The modifier name is going to be add damage. So now I'm going to have a sword that could have between 1% and 2% durability remaining. It could either have Bane of Arthropods or Smite on it. Any, any level of that. And it could have um, between 100 and 150 extra attack damage. I'm also going to add one more thing that could drop when it's killed. So this is going to be Minecraft colon skull. And I'm going to add a function. This function is going to be set to data value. I'm going to have it between 0 and 4. So now we have our loot table. You're going to want to copy everything, create a new text file, paste this in, and save. Call it inside of loot tables. Just call it centaur.json. So now that the this... Um, if we close it and open it again, we can see we have our Minecraft leather that could drop between 1 and 10. Um, and then here, we're going to mess around with some weight. We're going to want our ingot copper to drop 99 times out of 100. No, 95 times out of 100. Um, our sword copper to drop 1 time out of 100. And then to finish it off, our skull can drop... Four times out of a There's also one thing that I've forgotten here inside of Centaur. For some reason, um, it wants an it wants a name entry for every single one of the um, of the roles. So put name. I'm going to call it Centaur Main, and put a comma after that name. Centaur Special. That's the last thing on our loot tables. Now they should work. Here we are. Here's our centaur. Let's kill it. Here we are. We should be on its first or second last hit. As you can see, it's dropped a copper ingot and some leather. Let me clear my inventory quickly so we can see what we get. I got one copper ingot and nine leather. If we spawn another one we'll get different drops. So that time, we got two copper ingots and four leather. Completely different drop. 
And if we actually quickly, I'm going to increase the weight of getting the copper sword, just to make proof to you that it's actually possible. Here this time, we drop some leather and an enchanted sword. It has four durability and 136 attack damage with Bane of Arthropods. So we can insta-kill all these people, all these animals here. And if we keep, I mean, this had four durability. If we kill this one, it'll spawn a different thing. This one has 136.4 attack damage. This one's 136.34, slightly different. This one has 125.7 and only three durability. So we've got three completely different swords spawning randomly and different amounts of leather. So that is how to create loot tables. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below and subscribe for more. Once again, thank you for all the support and also the few people on Patreon. You can get the videos three days early over there. So if you're interested in that, you could go over there and donate. But also thank you for the support on this side of the channel. And also thank you for watching this video. My name has been Harry and goodbye. <laughs>